Okay, we have here today an integral from the University Math Society. This was problem number 95. We have the integral of sine 2x over square root of 1 minus 4 sine squared x dx. Okay, when I did this the first time, I was actually messing with this and just, I wrote this as 2 times sine x squared, and then I made a u substitution. It worked out okay, but it kind of created a few extra steps. What I found was it's actually, what I found is it seems a little quicker if I just make a u substitution for this thing, not the whole radical, but just what's inside. So if I make my u substitution for u equal to one minus four sine squared x, then take the derivative, du is gonna be, first using power rule, we get minus eight sine x, then chain rule, derivative of sine x is cosine x dx. Well, the nice thing about this right here, it looks kind of like the double angle formula for sine. So let's just look at that really quick. Sine of 2x, we can write as 2 sine x cos x. So we could basically create that just by splitting up this 8. So let me actually rewrite it in this form. If we write this integral as 2 sine x cos x, and then we'll just rewrite everything else and maybe get a new pen, I think. Okay, so what I can do to set up the numerator is, let's just multiply by a minus four here. So now I've created this minus eight, and we'll just divide by, or we'll multiply by minus one fourth, so we're not changing it. And so now we'll go ahead and we'll substitute. So then everything in the numerator is the du, so we're just gonna have du over the square root of u. But then let me just rewrite it so it's clear that I'm gonna use the power rule. So we'll rewrite this as u to the minus one half du. And so now I'll use power rule. So, so the integral here, adding a plus one, this is gonna give me u one half, take the reciprocal, and we have a two here. But this thing's gonna actually be minus one half square root of u. So all I need to do now is back substitute in order to finish it off. So for my final solution, we just have minus one half square root of this thing, which is one minus four sine squared x, put a plus c and that's it. Oh. Put a plus C on the end, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from University Math Society. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a great day.